Happy Ho Ho Holidays 2022. Hi, I'm Rob Zip and I'm with my mom. Today is Sunday, November 27th, 2022. And we are here at the Texas Renaissance Festival for the Celtic Christmas. It's the actual last day of the festival this year. I'm sorry to come earlier, but I'm here now and I'm bringing you with us. So come along and join us on this episode of the most epic adventures. Here we are at the entrance. They've got Saturday night party advertisement. They've got the, uh, the big king's chair out here. People love getting their pictures in. You can still purchase tickets here. Though it's very much advised to get your tickets ahead of time. How do we get our tickets, Mom? Well, we had some scrap metal that we took to see and Yeah, an old microwave. <laughs> they got at Walmart for like fifteen dollars twenty years ago. No, it and then was we turned more than them that. in. We turned them in and we got two tickets. This was worth like uh, you know what, forty bucks each, I guess. Yeah. How much are tickets? They're expensive. I don't even know. So here we are. C and D. They, they even got, gave us a two dollar bill. Yep. <laughs> Have a nice day. Okay. You, keep them? Uh, you can keep them if you'd like. <laughs> then the jester photos. I always want to get your photo when you walk in. Yeah. It's okay. Already walk in. People selling programs with maps. It's always there's the ghost after hours. We're probably not doing that today. <laughs> we got to go into the Dragon Slayer, see if they have any pins, any pins left for this year. Got the Christmas trees. They're doing all the, I can't even see, it's so bright. Pins this year, sold out of the dragon, sold out of the gnome with the mushroom. But I did, I did get the, the thistle, yes, I'm... I'm doing a YouTube. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, pictures. They're lining up for pictures with Santa. That's what's going on right here. I don't know. He's coming, but Buddy, Buddy, Buddy's here. Buddy the Elf is here. He's ready for Santa. He's excited. Oh, that's why it's all bunched up right here. Yeah, because people are lining up for their pictures with Santa. Buddy's so excited. When you get people... Let for the festive cheer! Yeah. And get your face painted. All sorts of drinking vessels and ocarinas. Ocarinas of time, perhaps. Speaking of ocarinas of time, we've got Link. Link playing ocarina of time there. All sorts of jewelry and clothing and jewelry and clothing. Everything you pretty much expect. We got a pub here on the second floor there, the Wormwood Public House. It's a little, it's a little early. Sunday on a Sunday morning for uh, for pubs, but there could be some people in there drinking. Who knows? Cards red. Now's the time. If yay old bungee jump, this will get hopping a little bit later. Same with the king of the log. Got all kinds of hawkers of all sorts. You got the uh, dinosaur egg, uh, like the teacup ride there. All kinds of shops selling all kinds of where you got flutes. You have bags and foxtails, friendly shopkeepers all around, dapper top hat wearing men, medieval metal. <laughs> 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 
in the sky chairs. Good day. Good day. Those are very comfortable to sit in for sure. Thank you. Got the pony rides. Got the Arbor House family beer garden. Some more face paintings, some bird whistles. Yeah. Ornaments and corsets. Not comfortable. Zoot suits. Did you get your bag here? Oh, you got your bag at a thrift store. But it, it could have came from here. I've gotten stuff from here. Very comfortable stuff that you can wear at the Renaissance Festival. Look at that cape. Very nice. It's like a Lord of the Rings kind of thing. Sure. Could be. That's right. That's right. It could be anything that you want. So we're in the German area. So you've got your hamburgers and your Hofbrows and your sausage. Drunken chicken, yeah? You can get your drunken you can get your drunken chicken there. I don't even know what that is. It's just like beer. Yay old automatic teller machine. Look at him roasting the chicken. Yeah, it was good. Dance class, but I'm here. He's teaching her, teaching her how to move it and make the. I don't know. He's he's helping her out. He's teaching her. So, so this is one of the things you can do here at the Renaissance Festival. Is you can you can pay and learn how to be a good If you're a drinker, you can get some scotch. Tasting and shop bar. <laughs> Scotch with right next to the Scott shop where you can get some uh, kilts and stuff for your kilts. Right next to the Art Smiths. Nice Venetian masks. These are fun to wear at parties. You get, I can smell the incense coming off the Christmas tree. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty metal. Here's the Polish area, the Polish pub. There was a f fire, was it last year? There was a fire somewhere around here last year. This looks pretty new. I could see this being <laughs> rebuilt. This is the Polish pub. Still a little early. Still early for beverages, but it's a nice place to hang out, watch some shows, good stage. The nice murals over here and a bunch of tear heads over here. Maybe. Bacon on a stick. They have all kinds of food on a stick. One great thing about the Renaissance Festival. Back in the background, we can hear Adam Crack, Fire Whip Show. Guys are all decked out for the holidays. <laughs> I will after though. I'm throwing here. everyone to Nicodemus the Eagle Owl. Give him a big welcome. Wow, isn't that a big okay. crowd? Huge crowd, crowd to see the birds of prey. Please We're going to go ahead and take off all these animals. It's right next to the Barbarian Inn. 
Wow, we found it. We found the Lord of the Rings. I think, is that Sauron right there? So the Lance Toss, I've done it the past several years and I went every single time. It's one of the, the few games that I actually went. I'm not gonna do it this year. As much as I do enjoy getting the award and being named a, a Knight of the Kingdom, I just, I need that $5 more than I need the, the award. But it's fun. It is fun. What the heck is that? Let me know in the comments because I have no idea. These coconut and pickle guys are always the best. You've got the magic garden to the left. You've got the enchanted knoll to your right with the pirate museum. This is pretty new. This it opened last last year. You do got to pay extra to go into the pirate museum. It's not. You know, I did it last year. I don't need to do it again this year. But the washing uh, well winch show is back here. Got the uh, King's Carousel. Mom loves a carousel. <laughs> the Dragon Tower slide. That's pretty cool. That's new. This is a whole new area back here. There's no music. It's a carousel without music. That's kind of strange. Spinning some yarn. Things and things. Look at those carrots. Shall we just give it to him? No. You guys are like Romans. <laughs> These are not your friends. No. <laughs> Would you all like to see him do something dangerous? Yeah. Heroic? Yeah. Awkward? Yeah. This is new, the Hobbit House Apothecary, and there's even the round door. Wow, that's very cool. The broom closet, you can get all your witchy brooms. Okay, you go take a stroll down to the Magic Garden. Oh, look at that guy. Hey, Cthulhu. <laughs> See all kinds here at the Renaissance Festival. So mom, we're walking through the uh, the Magic Garden. We saw some people playing a game. Did, can you tell them what, what, what kind of game it was? Um, well, they said that one lady was telling us that it was on a Facebook group mm -hmm. where people would leave little trinkets and put one that they made. Here's somebody dropping down here. Well, maybe that's for the kids to find because it's so, so oh, low. Okay. But yeah, well here. So here's one of the trinkets. So that, that's one a kid can find because it's so low to the ground. But you, if you take one, you leave one, basically. So yeah. that's, a, that's new, that's a new thing. I'm not on Facebook, so I don't know these things. So it's a nice, do a little nature walk at the Renaissance Fa yeah. Fair, yeah. the Texas Renaissance Festival. That's all it is, with nice little benches and little cutaways. This is a good place to do some hide and seek kind of treasure hunting too. Yeah. Does Bustin make you feel good? <laughs> so we got here, we've got a little cubby here and the kids are all looking for, they're all looking for the items. This is a cool piece of art that's been here for a while. Just a bunch of uh, different things painted in gold and welded together. Exit the Magic Garden to this area. There used to be nothing back here. I've got a gemstone mine. You can dig for dig for stones. Buried treasure, very badly buried. Easy to find <laughs> for the children. Something for the children as they exit the Magic Garden. That's good. And you've got the Italian. Italian village. You know it's the Italian village because they have pasta and pizza. Unfortunately, they still have the elephants uh, that you can ride. They're here. I did this, I rode this when I was a little kid. It was a little bit different then. But 
they don't have them chained at the ankles like they used to. They have them behind some, I guess, electrified wire. But there's a line. A lot of, a lot of kids want to ride it. So. At the Museum of Cruelty, they have an actual executioner out front. Now, I have been in the Museum of Cruelty before. It's pretty cool. You have to pay an extra fee to go in. But this is the first time I've seen an actual executioner ready with the guillotine. Ready to go. Hello! Piper Gun here at the beautiful Texas Renaissance Festival. I am Piper Gun, His Majesty's Royal Piper. And today I'm filling in for another musician playing my show, Piper Guns! Pipes in a Pear Tree Celtic Christmas Show. So come see me play these beautiful border pipes as well as my beautiful set of Scottish Pug Pipes here at the beautiful Texas Renaissance Festival. Years, they used to have a castle on there. The, they did a thing called Cast and Bronze. So I guess it got retired or something. It's kind of sad. It was a really cool show out here. But then you've got the uh, got the arrows over here. In the back there, you have the Drench and Wench, and you've got the Tornado Torment. This little tent here of uh, of boots is new. More shopping, more shopping, and more shopping. I don't want to get too much of the tomato torment of the drenching winch because they try to goad you into uh, try to goad you into the show. Right here by the Museum of Cruelty. Mom was like, oh look at Santa Claus. But do you see Sauron? Do you see him hiding in the shadows? The Dark Lord sitting on his dark throne? Garland swords and shield, wood roses, dragon pets, his majesty's horns. Clockwork Traveler, Elf Ears. Wow. <laughs> you can get your hand in wax. <laughs> get your swords. Ride the swings. Ride the Nautilus. All right, what do you think they sell inside this shop with the giant bat? Let's take a guess. Let me know in the comments. Are right, you ready? They sell soaps, sugar scrubs, bath salts, and skincare. Who would have guessed? We are in the Agora. Maybe we'll get some food. We'll see. We were gonna get some uh, some Greek food here, but they uh, the way they were handling their food, no, nobody was wearing any gloves. They were straight up just touching the food. So that's a little. I don't like that. So we're, we're gonna try to find something else. Maybe not even eat at the Renaissance Festival. I don't know. All right, we're here at the Red Lion Tavern now. Beautiful, beautiful place. We're outside, we're not in. I see my old buddy uh, Jeff is back there on the drums. I don't know if you, you can't see him right now, but they're doing some belly dance in there. But they've got bacon on a stick and some other things. But I don't know if you can see, but the turkey leg is $18. <laughs> Um, sausage on a stick is 12 and cheesecake is 10. We just had turkey. We just had turkey. You don't need it. $18 for, uh, and there's the prices. Beer, premium, premium beer is $11. Regular craft beer is $11. Souvenir cup is $21. So they've really, really increased their prices here. Inflation has hit the Texas Renaissance Festival. This guy wearing an Austin FC hat. Boo. Boo that man. 
Boo that man right there. Got, got the Sanderson sisters posing, posing for pictures with uh, that lady who's paying them. So that's the extra person mom. That's the person who's paying them for the photo. So there you go. Hey, so I'm here. I met with with Ben. He's one of the subscribers and his family. Hey guys. How's it going? So what are you guys uh, doing here at the Renaissance Festival today? This is our, this is our first time here at the Renaissance Festival. Oh, your first yeah, yeah, yeah. time. Last day we barely made it. We were gonna come yesterday, but we thought it was gonna rain. So. Um, we watched Rob's uh, informative, very informative video when we were deciding to come to the Renaissance Festival. You guys should check out his YouTube channel. Cool. Well, I mean, if they're watching it, they, yeah, they, yeah. Already, they already are. Yeah, stay tuned. But yeah, nice stay to meet tuned. you guys. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Can I get a fist bump from you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Chrissy Sandman. Uh, yeah, so, so Ben told me that he saw my old videos from the Renaissance Festival, and that's what made them decide to come here today. So these videos, uh, yeah, there's no telling whenever people can watch, because they're, they're up there forever. So this is my experience on the last day of the 2022 season. Honestly, guys, we're, we're about to take off soon. We're gonna, we're gonna see if we can see the big man, but the uh, a lot of things are the same. Every every once in a while, they'll add, they'll add some, uh, some new stuff, but I've been coming to this for several years, several times, several years. So is, that's why today I just wanted to come. That's why I just wanted to come on the last day because I knew the weather would be nice. It is a beautiful day out here. Let's, let's see Santa. Santa, Santa's here. Get his house seat nice and clean. And that's the uh, Celtic Christmas Santa. Right there. The kids trying to get on Santa's lap. So many kids in one picture. How many kids can Santa fit on his lap? Looks like he's got four of them there. And the rest are just going to have to stand by. There you go. Everybody smile. He's like, what do you want for Christmas? They're all like, we all want the same thing. They all want a pony. That's what all kids want is a pony. Pony and a robot. Robbie the robot. No, the whole family's good. The whole group family. All right, everybody. Uh, we were here for a few hours. We're not staying for the whole day, but I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this adventure. Um, I hope you got a little bit of insight what it's to come, what it is like to come to the Texas Renaissance Festival for Celtic Christmas. We'll be making Christmas videos all month long. Not sure where I'll be or what I'll be doing, but make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, and you'll know every time I post a new video. So until the next time, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures. Happy holidays, everybody.